So the book of Isaiah chapter 19, point is verse 15 and it reads, I'm going to start at verse 14 and it reads, The Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. And America is the modern day Egypt. You know, when you go back to some of the philosophies and, you know, basically how this each ancient Egypt was set up, you know, again, I often quote the fact that when you go into Freemasonry, a lot of the rites and rituals are based off the Egyptian uh, ceremonies. Um, they believe in phallus, work, phallus worship, worship of the penis. Um, that's why you got, um, you know, um, those obelisks like in ancient Egypt and in America verse 15 neither shall there be any work for Egypt again modern day America is spiritually Egypt that's why in the book of Revelation it talks about Sodom and Egypt which is America because I mean with this alphabet lifestyle which is promoted in Babylon the Great aka America it's like an on the Sodom and Egypt because of the customs and practices. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt which the head or tail branch or rush may do. And I start off by giving all praise, all honor, and all glory to Ko Elohim La Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Racha Kodash Brakatham. That will honor to my apostles, the elders of the great millstone, who teach and do rule well. So peace and salutations to the Akim Court of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so. Now more so than ever. So send one to the Akim and Akwat out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shall one to the Israelite for instead of the broad and the land of other nations and crown like other nations. I hope to spread the truth to you as a shall one. It's your brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant. And I'm coming to you with another lesson through the spirit and through the power of the Abba Shimia Um I got maybe 15 minutes, really 10 for work. I want to throw something up real quick. Um before I clocked in, and I came across this article, and you know, again, sign of the times, you know, talk about prophetically that in the last days it will be a lack of work. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. But, um, you know, it's a major um, auto strike going on, and that auto strike prompted basically some of the auto workers to get laid off, and it's affecting my city, which is the city of Cleveland. So, call all your money, how was she my shot? So this reads, Ford to lay off 376 workers at Cleveland Engine Plant in Brook Park. And, I, and I'm familiar with this plant. <laughs> Call Lawyer and Lawyer, but you shot. This is dated today. Cleveland Engine Plant number one employs more than 1,700 workers, a total of 30, 376 union workers from the plants one through four department are being laid off. This is... Uh, huh. I understand that's something. Let me play a little bit of it, maybe. Well, um, you know, copyright disclaimer. You know, this is only being used to teach. You know, I'm not gonna profit off of this in any kind of way. Here. has learned more than 350 UAW members are being laid off due to the ongoing strike against the big three U.S. automakers. Our Lindsay Buckingham spent the day there. She joins us now. Lindsay, these are breaking details just coming in. Yeah. Hi, Laura. Yeah, today, yesterday, actually, 376 employees received layoff notices right behind me here at Ford Cleveland Engine Plant Number 1 in Brook Park. According to UAW Local 1250 Rep Pat Wallace, the union workers will now be registered for $500 a week strike benefits. And just a short while ago, UAW President Sean Fain announcing the strike against the big three could be nearing an end after more movement on raise percentages and wage percentages progression. Plus, with GM agreeing to have its workers uh, workers at its future EV battery plants be covered by the National Labor Agreement. We are winning. We are making progress and we are headed in the right direction. And what has moved the needle 
is our willingness to take action, to be flexible, to be aggressive when we have to, and to be strategic. We are making gains, but are there are some rocks when it comes to like retirement uh, funding. I want to see exactly what the meat and potatoes are. Uh, we've taken a hit for a long time. Now, in addition to the Brook Park plant layoffs last week, GM laid off 130 workers from its Parma Metal Center. Also, workers at the Stellantis plant in Streetsboro have been on strike since September 22nd. A few hours ago, I spoke with UAW Local 1005 President Dan Schwartz, who said, quote, we're fighting for what we deserve. People are starting to pay attention. Laura, coming up at five, we're going to have... So I mean, you know, they 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 trying to give you hope, and, and at the end, they hope in the system is not the right hope to have hope in. You know what I mean? You know, hope and faith are synonymous, and what you're supposed to have faith and hope in is the you so the scriptures tell you, uh, trusting in the Lord with all thy hope, and lean not on to your own understanding. You know, the Lord has all this orchestrated, even with these different um union strikes. You know, and it's not you know, the, 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 again, scriptures talk about um. Basically, um, man, I trust of a man. Where is that? Jeremiah. Matter of fact, let me get it because I'm going to butcher it. I ain't quoted it in so long. I think it's Jeremiah. Um, what's that, 17? Curse be the man that trust of a man. This is Jeremiah 17 in verse 5. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, by Shabbat Yashah, curse be the man that trust of a man and make a flesh his arm. And whose heart departed from the Lord. Yeah, how about Shimei Al Shah? You got people like these individuals. They he just want we're making strides, you know, we doing this, we doing that. They think and they put this, you know, this is all their will when in actuality it's the will of Yahweh about Shimei Al Shah that you even striking that all of this is taking place. And I've I've been following the economy to a degree. I'm not no expert. I've just been watching all these individuals that follow it, you know these different economists and you got this guy named john williams and you got to understand they're basically coming into the fourth industrial revolution where everything's gonna be automated so you i mean if they got automated trucks i mean you know ford got machines that can actually build a car by itself and weld the machine weld the cars and all that shit like that they wait until you know like it's not a coincidence that you got this healthcare strike with kaiser permanente with the, the, this auto worker strike you got all these different people that's frustrated with their jobs and it's gonna get to the point where you know it'll be cheaper just to use robotics now certain jobs you ain't gonna be able to use you know ai or or robotics for but for the most part a lot of shit you know especially manufacturing jobs need ai i mean salakia can be done by ai you know and it'll be um more cost effective so again, the point of the video, because I thought it was going to be actually an article, point of the video is, you know, is a lack of work. You know, and, 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 and you know, again, with these economists, they go into the job numbers and whatnot, you know, like the job growth has slowed down tremendously <laughs> because everybody's feeling the effects of inflation. So while these people strike and think that they're going to have a fucking job, you know, at the end of the day, Ultimately, this it's in the will of the government. And ultimately, who controls the strings and the hearts of the government? Yahweh Bashim Yahshah tells you that the government rests in his hands. I mean, of course, that's the government of Israel. But, you know, the Most High controls the left and the right hand side. You know, so at the end, they, you know, the Lord puts the spirit on these devils to do everything they're doing. You got to remember, the government owns the big three auto companies. They, they don't make their own decisions anymore. <laughs> Why do you think they go switch over to electric? You gotta remember they had to get bailouts years ago. So pretty much that was the government buying those companies. So you I mean you know people gonna trust in everything but Yahweh Bashim Shah. And for man that trusted in man, curse be that man. You know, Psalms one eighteen talk about um, put not confidence in princes, but trust in Yahweh Bashim Shah. Roughly paraphrased. So um. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, and verse 1, and it reads, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun, or the light, or this moon, or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. Verse 3, In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, the keepers of the house are the economists, and they're trembling because basically they see the forecast, the financial forecast of this place is, 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 is 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 bad. <laughs> I'll stutter it, but I'm trying to think of the proper word. It, it's just horrendous. You know what I mean? 
you know, this is one guy watching. They call him. He call himself Johnny Bravo. He got the hairstyle like the the actual cartoon Johnny Bravo. Doesn't really look like the guy, but he kind of funny in a quirky kind of sense. He an Edomite, but he up there. He already saying like next year, don't be in the cities, and he making jokes about it. But at the same time, he saying seriously. He just you know like a sarcastic. Um, you know, if you got that type of sense of humor, like so, sometimes I I can be sarcastic, so. You know, I can understand that sense of humor, that dry humor. But at the same time, he's being dead ass serious. He like, shit, it's going to be bad. You know what I mean? Each day I'm watching at least four different economists I watch. It might be five. And they all, ain't nobody saying, no, it's getting better. It's going to get better. Everybody's talking about it's going to be a crash. They said actually it was a crash back in 87 in the month of October. And they're saying that basically... When you, because you know, they got a whole graph and a science to basically the economy, you know, just like, you know, people that study certain shit, they like, they say boxing is a science to it. And it is to a degree, but it's not, you know, if you, I mean, you know, that's what I say to people be like, you predict the wrong fights or who gonna win and who gonna lose. That's why it's a science, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you keep a, a, a jab out there too long and don't motherfucking, uh, you know, Move that bitch back at the time. A person could have slipped under your reach and knocked your ass out. I mean, and just like with this, like they they watching trends, you know, with the economy, and they see it like they said the, the exact same forecast back in eighty seven when it was a major crash because the stock market has crashed. That's how you know it's a manipulated thing. It says, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease. And when you go into the word grinders, it basically goes into the jobs, the employment, because they are few. And we have few jobs now. Like I was literally just looking, just trying to um, look for jobs. And I, you know, it, it's probably jobs on Indeed. I'm pretty sure it is. But usually you can see a lot of jobs on Craigslist or whatnot. I, I'm not seeing very many jobs. It says, um, because they are few and those that look out of the windows be darkened and they're looking out the window because they see no future in this place you know you know you look out say for instance you look out the window and you see the storm clouds gathering you're like i ain't going out there it's bleak <laughs> you know and that's what they're looking at as far as in regards to this economy every economist i'm following literally say that like man this shit gonna be bad you know what i mean verse four and the doors shall be shut and the only people that are saying it's gonna be a soft landing is the government <laughs> The scripture says, never trust thy enemy. And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. Again, when there's a few jobs, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. We know that goes into basically the time and when the music is going to be um, pretty bad, you know. And we living in that time when music is pretty bad. Um, yeah, so... Um, The Lord about to basically visit this place and judge it, you know, because for the iniquities, you know, which is the sin upon sin, the wickedness, you know, and just the pride. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the hauntiness of the terrible, you know. So you're going to bring everybody to a low estate. You know, the only ones that is having, are, are not going to have to be brought to a low estate is the hopeful elect, the ones that have been doing this work, you know, the ones that's in this truth. You know, because we've already been humbled through our different trials and tribulations that we suffer. Basically trying to do the will and work of Yahweh Shem Yahweh The Lord constantly chastises us to keep us humble as, as opposed to being proud because we know that the most high Yahweh Shem Yahweh hates pride. It's the second thing out of the six things he hates. Um, I said, oh, that's the spirit though. It says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. So, but the you, you know a humble man a a a hopeful man of the Lord a, a hopeful elect man he's gonna be better than fine gold because he gonna be, be destroying the proud and arrogant <laughs> but he's gonna be um, preserving the lowly and the righteous 
So, you know, we're about to come into some very evil times. You know, I know the elder brothers been going into, you know, how they talk about instituting another draft. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's all these different things going on at once. That's how you know this is the will of the Lord. So I'm going to just bring this last sentence out and I'm going to end it. It's the book of Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 3. Now is the end come upon thee and I will send my anger upon thee and will judge thee according to thy ways and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. The Lord going to pay you back by the abominable acts that you basically did. You know, you're a homosexual. He may let you be raped by a group of homosexuals. Verse 4. And the, mine eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abomination shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Verse 5, the point. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and evil and only evil behold is come. Verse 6, an end is come, the end is come, if watching for thee, behold, it is come. And evil is a compound word, eve, time, ill, bad. So we come into bad times again. You know, they saying, you know, because the thing is this, these people want like a extra, like super spike in they, they, they wage because the inflation is so bad. And you got people that's making decent money that, you know, they, you can't, you know, there is, it's not really add, adding out or equaling. But at the same time, if you got people not really buying cars, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like people making money off of the cars because of the fact, you know, Ford might make the car and the bank might give you a loan to buy the car. So the, the car is paid off from the dealership. It's the bank that's making money off of the, you know, the loan with the interest and all that. But a lot of people have to start defaulting on loans, especially now that student loans payments can't kick back in. So evil and only evil is truly coming. If you're a so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, similar Indian, what's Indian or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of your power. With true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai, or you will be destroyed. And with that, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Allah, 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 Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim. Racha, good as for Double honors to my apostles, the elders of the great millstone, and teach and do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim, across the four corners of the earth, pushing its truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives. And the freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akim and the Akwa thought to listen and learning. Lord willingly, this is us. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, subscribing to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. The next time I'm able to come with another lesson, I say Shalom, Shalom. Mawath Lababoa, Shalom.